Click. Click. Man, that lagged. Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal version. I always say Pokemon Red. I'm gonna keep making that mistake, I reckon. Welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we got ourselves a new member of the team! Bellsprout, now level 6. We're, uh, we're now in, I think, Violet City? Violet City, yes, yes. I think we're in Violet City. And now we're gonna hit the Pokemon... Oh, sorry, I knocked the microphone out of the itch my nose. We're gonna find the Pokemon, wherever that may be. So I hit the microphone again, itching myself. We're gonna hit the Pokemon, buy a lot of Pokeballs, and then go to the Bellsprout Tower. What is this? This is cool, right? Academy, Pokemon Academy, nice. That's a gym. We're gonna hit that later. Later, later, later. After Bellsprout Tower. We're gonna buy five. We're only gonna spend a grand on this because we're not rich. Da da da. Da da da. Bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da ba ba ba. Same with potions. We won't need that many because I think we're gonna blitz this place. Especially if Cyndaquil hides up and learns a bloody fire move. Right. Bell Sprout Tower. How are you doing today, guys? I hope you're well. Happy having a good time. Hope you are having fun. Sprout Tower. Oh, that's weird music. I like it. Ooh. That reminds me of a lot of the um <coughs> the apparent like earthquake proof Japanese buildings. I think they're meant to be around similar sort of thing. They have material that allows sway in the buildings. So it's not rigid so it won't tumble. But it's flexible, so if there is an earthquake it would just go whoop 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 I'm fine. It's a pretty cool idea. Right. Only if you reach the top will you obtain an HM. Ooh. In this place, we will run into a lot of Bellsprout. Oh, ooh. and a lot of trainers. And I think you should also run into ghost Pokémon, namely Ghastly. And our our aim today is to catch such a Pokémon. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. I think in this in this lore, it's meant to be around like a Bellsprout um, central stalk. Come on. Sage Nico wants to battle. I'm guessing you have a bell scrub. There we go, level two. Or three. We're not gonna use bell sprout in this literally at all. Because grass on grass, why would you do it? Cyndaquil of course being the perfect Pokemon to use for this, because it is a fire type. Fine, we'll actually do nothing against it. We've got to get this guy to level 11, because I'm pretty sure that's when he learns Ember. Onwards! Tackle Cyndaquil! It's like a really easy nose today, guys. I don't know why. It seems to me, every time I start recording, my nose just goes, Oh, you're recording? I'm just gonna be itchy as fuck. Bellsprout? No, didn't see that one coming. Doo -doo -doo. That animation for me is just a little bit too long. It's like, wiggle, 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 and I'm just like, I just want to hit you in the face with my Cyndaquil. <laughs> anyway, Bellsprout fainted, and we got 54 XP. Is that enough? No, we need one more fight. Sage Nico was defeated. I fought hard, but I'm too weak. Nearly 100 pounds, not bad. Hidden item, hidden item, hidden item, hidden item, no. Let me out! Ghastly, ghastly, ah, oh, Radata, really? Ugh, is there much point? I see another reason, I'm gonna kill you and get some experience. Hopefully I level up. Right, you're dead. Experience, please. Let it be enough to level up. Level 11, and we are at no fire moves. Level 12, then it must be, I guess. Oh, please don't tell me it's like level 16 or something. Paralyze heal. Might come in handy if we get in, run into a ghastly, and he uses lick on us. We're gonna give uh, Pidgey a go, because <clears throat> it's lagging behind a little bit. Sup, dude? 
We stand guard in this tower. Here we express our gratitude to honor all Pokemon. Good for you. Sage. Ciao. What's the battle? Sage Chow said, uh, Whoa, well, what do you know? It's a bell sprout. Do, 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 do. Will Gust do much? Wow. Super effective. See, it's a good thing I brought Pidgey along. Do, 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 Shocker. Yeah, that animation's just too long. Just do the leaf thing. Like, the whoop, whoop with the leaf, and that's it. They should be short and sweet. They shouldn't keep the player hanging around too much. Although, I'd be very interested to see animations for later Pokemon in the game. Like, the evolved ones and uh, legendary ones, even. You should hit level 11 by the end of this fight, I should say. I will not change Pokemon. I'll keep Pidgey in the fray. I'm a little bit sad that in my Pokemon Red Let's Play I got rid of my Pidgey. Well, my Pidgeot. Simply because I didn't have enough room in him for, the for him in the party. Bit sad, really. But I'm very happy with my last team, I have to say. Got me through the Elite Four and the Champion. Sage Chow was defeated. Thank you. You get 96 pounds for winning. Continue on your journey. Item X accuracy waste of space. I actually can't remember. Think talking of items. Talking of items, I can't remember if you have a carry limit in this game. I don't think you do. I think in Pokemon Red that was the only Pokemon game where you had a carry limit. I think. I don't think you have a limit limit in this game. Bell Sprout, no way! Ba -na 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 -na. Let's all just rock out to this music because it's freaking epic. My eyes are massive. Anyway. <laughs> One observation, my eyes are massive! I might cut out some of these fights if I'm honest, because they're all going to be essentially the same. They're going to send out Bell Sprouts, I'm going to hit them with one gust, and they're going to die. I will level up there, which is good. Depending on how many fights there are, I might cut them out. But we'll just do it all in one go for now. One hit? Oh no, there's going to be two hits, isn't it? Oh no, one hit. Nice! Pidgey's still at full health. Fantastic. Well done. Well done, you. Sage Edmund was defeated. Oh, I'm weak. Another hundred pounds. Not bad. Hello, Bellsprout. Ah, no, I will not cut any out because that is it. This is the last sort of gauntlet, if you will. I haven't run into a single ghost Pokemon. We'll do some hunting afterwards. I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon. Hey, hey, hey! How do you get a Charizard on a bus? You Pokemon! Sage Jin wants to battle. This continues like we never heard that joke. Bell's Brown, no way! A level 6! That's double what we've seen so far. But it should stand up, not stand up at all to my Pidgey's Gust. What can I say? Sorry, coming. 108 XP! Damn, son! Sage Jin was defeated. Give me 100 pounds, please. My training is incomplete. I got 100. Whoa! Double! I like it. That was literally double, wasn't it? It was! Look at me in math. Getting on so well. The Elder's HM lights even pitch black darkness. And I will never ever use it. Unless
unless I have to. In that case, I'll get a really weak Pokemon teach it that, and then never use it again. I think, was that Neil? Or Nail? Neil. Sage Neil. Spelled very strangely. Neow. I'm gonna say he's Sage Neow. Level 6 Pidgey? I wasn't actually paying attention if that was his only Pokemon. Well, matters not, I suppose. Matters not. -na 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 108. I should give Cyndaquil a go, I guess. Da -da -da. It is my head that is bright. Did he say that? Pause and find out. Thank you. Right, we're going to send our Cyndaquil first because it's. Uh, I think he's going to feel a bit left out if he doesn't get a bit of a fight. And we're going to fight this guy. I guarantee he's like a ghost Pokemon and I can't hit him without, like, Bellsprout or Pidgey. Sage Troy wants to bash one. So now Bellsprout. So four. Seven. Whoa! Seven. Be careful, Cyndaquil. Do a bit of smoke green first. Uh, blind him a bit, please. Thank you, Muchly. Oh, God. I hit your head now. Growth. That will raise his special attack. Why did I... Oh, Lear's just as good as any, I suppose. He's stooping up for one attack, and it's gonna hurt, I reckon. I suppose it depends on my special defense is. Hopefully, the next tackle will hit, knock him out, and I won't have to find out. It's close. Oh, no! Oh. It's all good, I had nothing to worry about. Oh, damn, I could do that again, please. Hoot Hoot, this is a new Pokemon we haven't seen yet. Hoot Hoot. Let's do the street, the... I can't talk today, I'm finding it rather difficult. Let's try the same technique, shall we? Ah. Foresight, oh, you identify... Oh, that increases, um, either. I think it guarantees the next hit, or it increases the chance for a critical hit. Apparently, we shot that out of our back. A critical hit. It guarantees a critical hit, or up to the chance of a critical hit, I should say. Do 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 Ooh, good door. I had a late night last night. No particular reason, I just stayed up late. Like an idiot, and I'm freaking tired today. Yes, your trust is real. Got even more money, £224. Thank you very much. Oh no, I should have uh, waited. <gasps> Liam, what are you doing? You are indeed a sk skilled as a trainer. As promised, here is your HDM. But let me say this, you should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. Huh? Humph! He claims to be the Elder, but he's weak. It stands to reason I'd never lose to fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. Liam, use the escape rope. I have to say, Liam would never do that. Liam would never behave this way. I'm a little regretting I named him after such a tool. Right, let's check our Pokemon. I reckon we can go like this. I reckon we're fine. I'm actually quickly going to look up if I can actually get Ghastly in this uh, town. Oh, bugger! Well, son of a bitch. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. Feel free, I love my Cyndaquil, Pidgey, and my Bellsprout. Differently. I don't love Bellsprout as much, but I love it all the same. 
Or maybe I just like it very much. Oh, a shock! Level 9? 7. Fair enough. I'm going to stop trying to guess the level, by the way. Benefits no one at all, in fact. Oh, uh, issue here. Right. Everything itches now. What the hell's going on? You go! Heal yourself with that berry. Brilliant. Do, 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 do. We definitely will level up, and we better bloody learn a move, because I don't want to have to wait till level 16 or something to learn a fire type move. You're fire Pokemon, for God's sake. Level up and learn Ember. There we go, there we have it, ladies and gents, our first fire type move. I thought about setting up Bellsprout, but that's a terrible idea. Hoot hoot! <laughs> Ember, let's try it out. Burn, baby, burn! Da, 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 da. Ah, these burn! Brilliant! Apply cold water to burnt area. Do hurt by your burn, you suck. Okay, Leah, I'm gonna tackle. Because, uh, honestly, you didn't do that much damage, if I'm honest. Much more damage. It's fine if you hit me, I really don't care. Because you hurt yourself by- you hurt yourself with your burn, and you faint. 123 experience spell sprout we will not change because we're gonna have a fire type move that's gonna knock you out in one go we should level up again to level 13 which would be pretty epic man this sidebar is gonna be changing every five minutes <laughs> got my work cut out for me I suppose that's also the danger of having this in such early stages boom Let's have a, actually have a look at these stats. Attack 22, Defense 17, Special Attack 24, Special Defense 22, B24. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's good or bad. Because I never pay attention to it. Ta -da, Sage Lee was defeated. Oh, yes. Ah, excellent. I got £320 and sent some to Mum. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Slash HM. Receive HMO5. I should stop singing along to the music, just in case it is out of sync. <sighs> Flash illuminates even the darkest of all places, but to use it after battle, you need the badge of from Violet's gym. Now, very quickly, what is the time? It's 7 in the morning, which means we will not find Ghastly here. Ghastly literally only appears at night, so let's have to use this handy escape rope we've got, because there's no point in us hanging around. I will come, we will come back at a later time. Or wait till this game is at night, I suppose. Oh, that uh, might should come up soon. The opportunity, I mean. Da, 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 da. To the Pokemon Center, then we will... I'm going to grind. Yes, we've been playing a while. I'm going to grind off screen, get Bellsprout. I see if it's a, it's a flying-type gym, Violet City. So I'm going to uh, grind with Cyndaquil and Pidgey. We always seem to end in Pokemon Center, have you noticed? That's it from me, guys. So, as I say goodbye to this lovely, lovely nurse. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the links in the description below for more Let's Plays that I've done, including Pokemon Red, Legend of Zelda, Mickey Mania, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, my Minecraft Let's Build I'm doing with Molly Games, and some old ones I think you might enjoy as well. Check me out on twi uh, Twitter at ThePandaPad, Facebook, Facebook.com forward slash ThePandaPad page, Twitch, Twitch.tv forward slash ThePandaPad. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button so that way you get notified as and when I upload content to my channel. That's it from me. So from me, my Pokemon, and everyone here in this lovely Pokemon Center here, I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.